Churchyard, in my opinion, is one of the coolest places in the world. Honestly, there is so much to do here. Like, I only booked a week this time, which isn't enough. So, I'm just going to go down, show you a couple of the things you can do here, um, because it is endless. Let's go. What are one of these coconuts? Coconut. Coconut. Looking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, careful. Oi! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. She scared me. I thought she chopped her finger off. The Thai people, they're very funny. Very funny, good people. I know, you scared me. How much for this one? 80 bucks. 80? Yeah. Okay. Have you got change? Oh, look at this. Paradise. This is, uh, this is good special treatment here get stuck into our coconut which is there you go it's basically just like a nice refreshing drink where you come from I come from sydney australia oh, Australia. yeah not, a, not as nice as this i've only got two more days here mm. but i will plan to definitely come back here Nobody. next yeah. year because this is this is much nicer than Australia. Yeah. In Australia, you're not going to get a massage on a beach yeah. with a coconut. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Nice. But this place is beautiful. It's very free. This is a good massage too. Okay. Oh, look at this for service. <laughs> Thank you. Singer, the greatest beer in Thailand. What do you think? Good. Good beer. Good. So I'm going to show you some of the things you can do down here on Patong Beach. Hey buddy. Yes. Hi, my name is Coco. Coco. Yes, you can look my water spot, Coco7. Yep. You can search on Google. Yeah. Google review. Yeah. I never have bad The review. best ones. The best one. Okay. You got to come and see Coco. Coco. A, a lot of people like you, you, YouTuber. You're a YouTuber. Yeah. Yeah, sim similar. Awesome. My friend have a lot. They do advertising uh, from me. Yeah. After from Singapore, US, America, all around the world. Are you Coco? Yeah, we want to see you. Coco? Hey, oh, he's she, famous. She, she. The world famous Coco. That's awesome, man. Yep. What I wanted to, to say is, uh, we know many years ago that there has been some issues with a lot of the, some of the jet ski companies pretending that some of the jet skis yes, have had damage. Can we confirm yes. that you would not actually do that to anyone? Uh, no, 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 I never, never. Never? never. Because... Yeah. Here on the beach, many different companies. Yeah. Some people they good, some people bad all around the world, same. And you would encourage yes. the client to have a look at the jet ski, I check can, for damage yeah, first. Yeah, for damage. Yeah. You can record with your phone or with your GoPro. Otherwise, you go. you're going to be paying yeah. a hefty price tag. No, no, but my money and what then, not everything. But no, dude, this guy, this guy good, okay? Yes. Yeah, I'll see him. Good. See ya, brother. Have a good day. Okay, it's starting to sprinkle a bit, so we're going to uh, get on a motorbike taxi and go check something out indoors for a bit. Yep. All right. Don't crash. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I am good. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. So this is one thing you should uh, definitely do when you come here to Patong is jump on a motorbike taxi. <laughs> and for me personally, um, he didn't offer me a helmet. I'm not sure why, but, you know, we're going to be pretty safe here. Um, yeah, we're not going to jinx it. I'll be okay. Oh, we're going down the famous Bungalow Road during um, during daytime, which is a bit interesting because <laughs> usually when you come down here, it's always nighttime, isn't it? And it's full of ping pong shows oh, and ping -pong all show. kinds of things down here. It's crazy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. This, nighttime, is, nighttime. this is the crazy strip at daytime. <laughs> very placid at this time of day but once the sun drops here shit gets real that's all i gotta say shit gets real so this is the food market i was going to show you but we're obviously a little bit early but you need to check out this place up here this will blow your mind watch this you put your feet in the water in these mini piranhas, they eat all the dead skin. Sorry, car. 
Uh, this one? Okay, we're getting the full, foot. the wash treatment first. Okay, that makes sense. What's that? Thank you. Oh. All right, ready? Oh yeah, I'm gonna swarm like piranhas. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is, oh, this is bad. So ticklish, it is so ticklish. Oh. They're all being, they're all being very gentle. Whoa, there's a big one in there. So they eat the, the dead skin? They eat the dead skin? <laughs> uh, she doesn't understand. But I think that's I think that's essentially what they're doing. They they eat the, the little bits of dead skin off you. <laughs> One of the things you need to be very careful with with ATMs here in Thailand is losing your card. I lost a card on the first day I was here, actually in the airport before I had even officially got into the country. What we're used to in Australia and many other countries is your card gets returned, so you put your card away and then you take your cash. Here, it gives you your cash first, waits maybe 10 seconds, it starts beeping and gives you your card. So most people walk off and if the card sits there for a number of minutes, uh, the machine will suck that back in and then you're screwed. So that is a word of warning. Okay, we've just spotted a street vendor over here with some food. No idea what she's selling, but we're gonna get some. Hello, sorry, cup. What do we got? What, what is this one here? Uh, chicken cup. Chicken? One of them? One? One? One, yeah? Yeah. How much for that one? Uh, 30 baht for one. 30 baht? That's good yeah. price. Yeah. All right, so we will try the uh, chicken. I'm not sure if there's bones in it. Does this have bones? Does this have bones? No bones? No bones. No bones. Okay. All right. It's cold. It probably isn't the best sign chicken sitting there for so long. Um, I think it'll be all right. It tastes good, but. I try to eat from some of these um, street vendors all the time. You gotta pick and choose them. These shops are popping up absolutely everywhere. You can come here, enjoy a drink, doobie, and look at the stuff they got. How you doing, brother? Hello, buddy, how are you, mate? Oh, got the Aussie accent, Thanks, that's, buddy. that's <laughs> yeah. good. Tell me, is this is this your shop? This is not mine. Not your shop? Yeah. Well, I just walk in here, sir. But how did, how did this become legal so fast? Out of nowhere. It's a different road, you know, different road in Thailand. It's the happening about like six, six, seven months ago. Yeah, only six months ago. And what, before that, jail, wasn't it? Yeah, of course. Jail. <laughs> and you obviously are a, uh, oh, that's just a normal cigarette. <laughs> normal, normal. I don't smoke it all day. I don't smoke. You don't smoke it? Yeah. Just sell it. Just sell it. Uh, smart I just man. Walk, yeah. I don't either. About like five years ago, I used to smoke a little bit. No, I don't want to smoke anymore. Yeah. But, so you just got all different kinds of stuff. We're just letting people know for educational purposes only. Yeah. And it's all it's all medical related, yeah? What about the uh, the juices? What can you tell me about them? Juices like cannabis juice. You can have like uh, just like a fruit juice or you can mix with a cannabis. But are we talking yeah. like uh, just for the CBD benefits or yes, yes, THC? Yes, yes, yes. CBD. This is the best juice in Thailand. I had one of these the other day. Absolutely amazing. Hey man, I'll just get this one. 50. 50. Is 60 okay? 60 okay or... Okay. Thank you. Thanks brother. Look at the pulp. Is this authentic Thai food? No, that's Arabic, brother. Chicken beef. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, that's right, fine. We're, we're, I'm joking, man. <laughs> Are your kebabs good? Yeah, tasty. Because I had I had one not from here, another place, and it was no good. 
Steak Cafe. Best kebab, best kebabs in Patong. Hey, I, I don't usually eat kebabs until at least two in the morning, so oh. you might see me. If you don't like, you don't have to be. <laughs> okay, no, I would, brother. Thank see you. See you, boss. Oh, are we gonna go play tennis, uh, are we? Hold on, I'll put this one down. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Holy shit. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, hey, we're gonna get in trouble here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see you, see you, brother. There's so much, um, everyone's just fun here. So, you'll probably see when I walked around Sweden or Switzerland, it's just hard to get content. Um, you gotta try really hard. Everyone here just interacts. It's fun. Yeah, it's a good place. Salam alaikum. Now, one thing you'll notice here is there is massage parlors everywhere. It's like every third shop, but they're not. Hello. They're not always massage parlors. Sometimes you're going to get some hidden extras. Um, the way you find out if you want a real massage, you look for the professional looking ones. If you want something else, you look for the girls in the uh, skimpy dresses grabbing you. I'll drop some footage in now. Um, they don't like cameras, they're a bit camera shy, but uh, yeah, have a look. Okay. Okay. I can't go. Cannot go. Why not? I have to. Bye. So there you go, that is just a sliver of what Patong Beach has to offer. I'll be here pretty much all of next year vlogging. I'm gonna try to pump out about three vlogs a day and uh, yeah, have a look at this dude doing the Rubik's Cube. Going good mate, you nearly done yeah. it? Yeah, that's all right. See you brother.